It is the 15th of the 3rd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, SOT.net really doesn't have anything new going on, so we're going to go ahead and get started on the extinction protocol. Mexico's uh, big volcano outside of Mexico City, I uh, can't pronounce it very well, volcano unleashes nine low levels of emissions. The National Center of Disaster Prevention reported in the last hours the volcano has expelled nine new low-intensity uh, exhalations accompanied by emissions of water, vapor, gas, and sometimes small amounts of ash. The body of the Ministry of the Interior reported uh, that the monitoring parameters remain without important change. He explained that at night a glow was observed in the crater of the volcano and that for now there has been a constant emission of steam and gas. So that big volcano outside of Mexico City is definitely gearing up. Indonesia's Lamangan volcano awakens after sleep after 114 years. Uh, a new volcano in Indonesia, in eastern Java, is showing signs of unrest. Weak steaming from an active crater and increasing earthquakes were reported by the Indonesian scientists. The increase in the earthquake started on the 23rd of February and seismicity increased again significantly on the 8th of March when a tremor recorded continuously on the next day. Uh, they're saying this thing hasn't erupted in uh, 110 years. So the last time this volcano erupted was 1898. And, of course, the economy stories. Alaskan Aleutian Island Cleveland volcano explodes for third time in a week. This is a very active volcano uh, we've been watching for quite a time now. And, uh, of course, a 3.2 magnitude earthquake strikes the region of Papua New Guinea, a very active area. Uh, not uncommon there. Uh, we do have an earthquake swarm shakes New Brunswick Village like a bunch of dynamite going off. Residents say this is out of Canada. A resident in a sm small southwestern New Brunswick community may continue to feel minor earthquakes for several more days or even weeks, according to the National Research of Canada seismologist. Uh, McAdam has been hit with, with four small earthquakes since Saturday in what is known as an earthquake swarm. Uh, so we've got some unstableness going on there. That's about all new they have going on today. I'm going to take you over to the Watchers, couple story. Rising activity on Sunspot 1432. Two moderate MCAT class flares, March 14th and 15th. Uh, moderate M2 solar flare peaked at 1521 on March 14th. Uh, UTC and was centered around Sunspot 1432, located towards the middle of the visible solar disk. Slow moving, moving CME plasma cloud is seen in the latest stereo be behind. COR images may be partially headed this way. Another moderate M class flare measuring 1.8 erupted on 752 on March 15th. Uh, the geophysical alert message issued 2012 March 15th, 12 a.m., prepared by the U.S. Department of Commerce, the NOAA, and blah, blah, blah. And where was the other one? Tropical Cyclone Luna expected to intensify into severe tropical cyclone during Thursday. According to Australian Bureau of Meteorology, as of 2 a.m. Uh, West Standard Time, Tropical Cyclone Lau, L-U-A, uh, is, was established to be 700 kilometers northwest of uh, Karatha, 790 kilometers northwest of Port Headland and is moving north at speed of four kilometers per hour so it's heading out to sea thankfully. Over to the RSOE uh, the only thing really new I want to cover is uh, they've got some uh, severe weather out of California. Uh, the Monte Rio region had a severe downpour of rain, um, landslides flooding the bit and uh, where was that other one? Um, also in the state of California, State Helena region, uh, this town has declared a state of emergency. Uh, downpours excluded. Uh, they're going to start telling people they can't use more than 75 gallons of water per person per day. Uh, they're going to cut the commercial usage down by 10%. And uh, they're going to go ahead and uh, do the emergency procedures with that kind of thing. And another forest fire in uh, Yucca Valley, California. That's about all new 
uh, RSE has going on today. Over to the nuclear stuff, and again, I'm just going to cover the headlines quick. Criminal complaint to be filed against top government and TEPCO officials. It says failure, failures left many exposed to radiation. Assemblyman, nonsense that nobody has been held criminally responsible for causing a major nuclear accident, unquote. Off the NHK, radiation levels too high for humans to continue at reactors number two and three. This is the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Workers must repair damage to suppression chambers. A uh, developing uh, story out of Los Alamos sends reverse 911 call warning to residents. People told to stay indoors. A container released unknown gas caused flash with contact with the air. Roads closed. Hazmat team dispatched to ma material disposal area B. Uh, ongoing with the developing story, quote unquote, no timetable for any release of details concerning what the substance actually was. Even the newspaper got an automatic 911 call. Businesses on DP Road still waiting for all clear, advised to shelter in place. Something major happened in Los Alamos. Japanese government, more shakes may follow over the next week or so. Powerful quake in Chiba, an aftershock of the 9.0 magnitude quake that happened last year. And uh, they've had 17 aftershocks above uh, magnitude 3 in the area over the last 10 hours since uh, intense earthquake. And uh, just an ongoing situation that is J Japan. Nuclear insiders surprised at how much cesium is moving through the environment. Crops with no direct contact to Fukushima fallout still highly contaminated. And uh, the government's reporting highest plutonium concentration found almost 20 kilometers away from Fukushima plant. And when that number three reactor went last year, we all saw it. It blew it sky high. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, leave your comments or text your videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.